What's up, YouTube? It's Coach Corey, and today I want to try and answer one of the most asked questions I get, and that's when is global release for Brawl Stars, and what does Brawl Stars need added to the game to be ready for global release? So, let's get right into it. Before I start, I do want to say that if you're looking for an exact date on when global release is, that's not what this video is. I can't give you an exact date, but I can give you a good guess and I can back it up as to why I think it's going to be when I think it's going to be. So first off, before we get into that, I want to talk about what Brawl Stars is doing well and what are some things they still need. So I think answering this question is going to give us an idea of exactly how much they have left to do to reach global launch. So some of the things they're doing well, well, honestly, it's a lot. I think Brawl Stars is in a great place right now. For instance, they have a good variety of game modes. They have seven different game modes, two of them being ticketed, that show up once a week for two days, and then five others that cycle through three different event slots for either 12 hours or 24 hours. This gives you a good variety on what you play as far as the map and the game mode. But not only that, to keep it fresh, you can also play friendly battles. You can honestly play any map you want whenever you want and with friendly battles there's a great ability to play with friends which is a huge feature for any game the ease and ability to play with friends so not only do they have friendly battles but it's also very easy to share the game code and create game rooms to play with your friends on ladder or friendly battles on top of that they have a good balance in the game now they change the balance fairly frequently but they try and listen pretty closely to the community and they take in a lot of our feedback as you can see from some of the additions to the game they look at the community a lot as far as what we're saying and the brawlers tend to stay fairly balanced they change up the meta fairly frequently and the events are honestly pretty well balanced definitely more than they were a few months ago and even before that as well another thing they're doing well is they have a clear upgrade progression system it's obvious how you want to upgrade your brawler as far as you whether you want to upgrade health, attack, or super. And you know what you have to do to get the more power-ups and get the biggest power-up star power. Additionally, I honestly think they have a good amount of brawlers. But I'm going to talk about this a little more later as far as whether they need more. And if so, how many more? But now let's talk about some of the things they need to add or some of the things they haven't quite mastered or are doing well yet. So starting out, I think the most obvious thing that Brawl Stars really needs in order to go global is spectating and replays. Now, they talked about on Reddit how this can be a bit of a problem for them as for them to be able to make replays in the game, they have to store every single action that happens in a game to be able to exactly replicate that match for you to replay it. Now, this may seem like a big task and honestly, I think it is and that's why it's taken so long for there to be spectating and replays in the game. Now, if they can't figure this out, the next update is not going to be global release. But I think they have a good amount of time, and I think this is going to be the biggest thing they need to add in order to reach global. I think there are some other things that would be nice to have and would be definite good improvements and are good quality of life stuff, but this is by far the biggest thing Brawl Stars needs in order to reach global is able to have spectating and replays. This will add a lot to the game. Not only will you be able to share your games with your friends, it'll make a much better interaction with the community. This allows things like leagues and esports to happen, which is a huge factor for keeping the top players interested in the game and also drawing in new ones that want to reach that level. Another thing that would be cool as far as replays is having something like TV Royale and Clash Royale where you can see games of top players. That would be a really cool feature. A lot of people learn from those games and it's always fun to see how the top players play and compare that to yourself. Now, some other things that they need to add. Well, the monetization system in Brawl Stars, in my opinion, isn't that great yet. If you compare Brawl Stars to some other Supercell games like Clash of Clans or Clash Royale, the cost to max in those games is easily five figures. If you're gemming your way to max, it's easily gonna cost five figures at least to max your account. Compare that to Brawl Stars. I just did a video on this recently. If you guys wanna check it out, it shows the math, but you can spend a minimum of $137 to max your account in one day in Brawl Stars, which is insane. So to me, they need to work out the monetization a little bit better. Now, some of the things they can do to improve that is make it 
So you get less coins from ticketed events. Perhaps you cap it at 30 coins instead of 40. This will make the progression system a little bit longer as that's the best way to max your account is getting the max amount of coins from tickets. That's gonna be the best way to use your gems. But on top of that, I think they need some other stuff. So one of the ways they can do that is skins. Now, a lot of people really want skins to be added to the game and I'm no exception, not just for pleasure enjoyment. I think skins are awesome, look cool. Who doesn't want a brawler that has a different skin or looks cooler? I think it would definitely be a good addition. It would help a little bit with monetization. I'm not sure that's really the solution they need. Now, obviously adding in more brawlers to the game will make it cost longer and take more time to max. Now, as far as how long it takes for free-to-play player, it does take about two years. So as far as the progression to max as free-to-play, I think that's fine, but I think it's a little bit too easy and a little bit too inexpensive to max your account in Brawl Stars. Now, of course, as players, we want it to be as cheap as possible to max our accounts, but for Brawl Stars, they need to make revenue off this game, and their goal for their games is to constantly be in the top 10 in revenue, and if Brawl Stars isn't able to be similar to that like Clash Royale, like Clash of Clans, then maybe they won't go global. So that's definitely a big factor for them. I think adding skins could be a good way to reach that. They might need something else on top of that as well though. Perhaps something like challenges where you can spend gems to do a challenge event and maybe you get more coins. But either way, they need something to spend more gems. Or maybe this isn't as big of a deal to them as we might think compared to their other games. Now currently, 10 out of 19 brawlers have skins or have at least one skin. One brawler, El Primo, has two. So they need a couple more skins at least. But I'm curious how many skins they're going to try and add for the next update. As the Brawl Stars team did say it takes their art team quite a while to make those skins. So whether they're going to have all the brawlers with skins next update, I'm not quite sure if that's going to happen. But I do think they're going to add a good amount. Probably at least half a dozen would be my guess. Now, another thing they need to add to the game to make it more polished is voice acting. Currently, 10 out of 19 brawlers have voice acting. Now, as far as how much work this is going to take for Brawl Stars, I don't think it's going to be a huge amount of work as they outsource who does the voices for their brawlers. Now, of course, they have to review everyone auditioning for those roles and they have to make sure that's the perfect fit for those brawlers and that's the sound and voice they want. So they still have to do, obviously, a good amount of work, but I'd, it's not like they're making the voices themselves. They're not doing the voice acting. So I do think it's possible that they could have voice acting for almost all of the brawlers, if not all the brawlers, in the next update. Now, to me, those are the three most important features Brawl Stars needs in order to go global. But there are a few other things that I think are arguably maybe not quite needed, but would be great value to the game and would definitely make it much more ready and polished for global launch. So some things like that might include band mail. I think more improvements to bands would definitely be great. The ability to send a band mail out where you can let your whole band know either what's going on with your band or just any sort of news for your band would be great. Another thing that would definitely be needed is the ability to invite people to your clan. Sometimes people accidentally get rejected and then they have to wait another 24 hours to join the clan. The ability to invite people would be a good feature and would definitely help. What about new brawlers though? Does Brawl Stars need more brawlers to go global? I think my opinion on this differs from a lot of other people. I really don't think it does. If you think about your perspective as a brand new player to the game, when you first launch Brawl Stars, whether there's 19 Brawlers, 20 Brawlers, 21 Brawlers, or even 22 Brawlers, it's probably not going to change your opinion of the game that much. It's going to take you a while to get the majority of those Brawlers anyways. Now, of course, if you're a huge gemmer, you might get most of those Brawlers, if not all of them, but a lot of people won't. The majority of the players who start at the game are not going to reach the point where they start running out of brawlers or they get all the brawlers. So I don't think it's a huge problem to add more brawlers. But I do think it's maybe needed to have at least one new brawler for global launch, at least to appease the beta players who is going to be the most active players, the most vocal players for the community. All right, but what about maybe some more events? Does Brawl Stars need more events in order to go global? 
I don't think they need more events. It depends on if it's something that helps with the monetization. If it does, then I would say definitely that would be a huge boost. But if not, I don't really think it's a big factor. And it's not particularly going to help Brawl Stars be more ready for global. Now, some other things that would be great additions for global release would be something like a battle log or a match history. This would be huge. It'd be great to be able to see who you played against, what band they were from, and look back at your prior matches and then be able to share them to your clan mates. That would be a good feature as well. Another commonly asked for feature is stats. A lot of people would like end game stats. I think the Brawl Stars team is worried that if they add stats, people are going to focus on things that don't relate exactly to the objective, like focusing on kills and not dying, just improving your stats as opposed to trying to be the best player for the objective. Now they could add things like points and add that to the stats as well to make it more objective based. But I'm not sure that's what they want to do or the route they want to take. Something else that would be cool would be achievements. Achievements would be a great way for free-to-play players to get a little bit of gems and be able to use those gems on tickets or boosters or skins. That would be a great way to add a little bit of incentive to push towards certain goals and keep playing the game early on. Another thing that would be cool would be some improvements to random matchmaking. For instance, the ability to continue with teammates after playing a match. If you queue up with randoms and you really like your teammates, it would be great if you could have a continue playing with those people and then you queue up with them again and you continue playing with those brawlers. That would be a good way to improve the random matchmaking and make it a little bit easier on random queuing as it can definitely be frustrating queuing up with randoms sometimes. Another good quality of life feature would be a button that shows the map when an event is up. This would be a great way to see exactly what map you're playing before you go into the game. As I know sometimes it can definitely be hard to remember exactly what the map layout is of whatever event is up. So this would be a good reminder. This way you don't have to go into the event either on practice for spots or just try and wing it when you get into the match. Another thing that would be good is the ability to see what the team comp is of your team and the enemy team before the match starts. So you queue up and you enter the game and then you have a couple seconds before the match starts and you get to see the enemy team comp and your team comp. That would be a good way to have another quality of life addition to the game. Okay, so I talked about all the things I think Brawl Stars needs in order to be ready for global release. I also talked about some of the things that would be nice to have but maybe not necessary. Now the stuff I think they need, as a quick recap, is spectating and replays. Some more monetization stuff, for example, skins, also voice acting. I think those are the most important things. Now, to me, I definitely think Brawl Stars can do that in one update. So, how long will it take Brawl Stars to do all those features? And when could the next update be, aka, when could global release be? Well, the Brawl Stars dev team said it takes them about two to four months in order for them to make an update. So that's a little bit of a range. Now, it's been a month and a half about since the last update. So at the earliest, it could be in the next two to three weeks. But I don't think that's going to be the case. I think if the next update is global release, Brawl Stars is going to want to spend a little bit more time to make sure everything is polished and ready to go. So my guess is global release is going to be early March. That's my guess. That's my prediction. I am guessing Brawl Stars release global around March, early March specifically. Now, if they run into a problem where they can't figure out spectating or replays, I think it won't be next update. Now, I could be wrong. Maybe they get all those features I talked about into the game and they decide to wait a little bit longer for global release. That could happen. But this is my guess as far as when they will be ready for it, whether it will happen or not, we will have to wait and see. So that's it for today's video. What did you guys think? Do you think I'm right? When do you think global release will be yourself? All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you later.